Hey guys, welcome to part two of the Octoprint server. So today we're gonna go over basically what the uh, Octoprint server can do, um, what I've done with it with the relays and turning printers on and off using the PSU plugin. So uh, let's dive right into it. All right, so with the Raspberry Pi using Octoprint, we're gonna use the GPIO pins connected to the relay board to control the printer power. And we're gonna do that by splicing the power cord and taking those two leads into the relay like the picture like flashing up on your screen right now and so with that we can control the printers fans lights heaters whatever we want to and that is all through the psu plugin and you can use the enclosure plugin as well to control other peripherals all right so we're down here in the basement and here's really the really simple wiring uh setup so you have your three gpio pins which run to the um, inputs on the switchboard, relay board. So I'm using relay one, three, and five right now just to be spaced out and it was easier to hook up at the moment. Um, but you can do any combination that you wish. Um, the other connections that are important is the 3.3 volt runs to the JDVCC, excuse me, the VCC pin, and then the five volt runs to the JDVCC pin and then you have your ground pin as well so it's a pretty simple setup as far as wiring and then it's just about as simple in the software as well which we will get to next all right guys once you have that all hooked up you can go into your octoprint you want to go to your settings and once you've installed the PSU control plugin um, you can quickly do that by going to plugin manager and searching it get more searching the PSU plugin it's not going to pop up for me because I already have it installed but then you go to that you want to select your GPIO mode into BCM um, not G code command GPIO pin and for me I had to invert this uh, just depends how you wire it up really um, and then the pin that it's going to go with um, so to check that real quick you go to the uh, GPIO pinout yep, right there. so we are using GPIO pin 21 which is the bottom right right down here which corresponds to our relay number one which is hooked up to my row stock Delta printer and then you can play with some other uh, settings down here with uh, the automatic off. I really like that because if I'm, you know, printing one late at night, it'll shut off after X amount of time. And then I don't have to worry about it just sitting there on idle. So once you have that, hit save. And then you can click that. And you may have heard that tick in the background. And your printer should be on. So then we can hit connect. It should connect fairly quickly. I have my webcam right there and we are golden and just like that we can turn on and off the printer by the click of a button all right so some future plans for this could be uh, adding heater uh, to heat an enclosure per se um, lights which I do have and I plan to rig into it as well as fans to maybe cool an extruder motor uh, something like that or an exhaust fan and an enclosure as well. So there's lots of applications these relays can serve and you can um, all operate those and give them named outputs, inputs, uh, functions off of other sensors through the enclosure plug plugin. Um, that's in the uh, Octoprint plugin store as well, repository, sorry. Um, but yeah, there's about endless things you can do with uh, the relays um, with sensors and all that. Uh, the next step for me probably is going to be add, adding a filament runout sensor to my machines. Um, probably that's going to be through Octoprint. I'm not a big firmware editor guy, so I'll be doing that through Octoprint. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching and have a great rest of the day.